All right, welcome back to another video in the series where we're walking through and solving cross-country navigation questions. I think these problems for the written exam are the most difficult and the, by far the most time-consuming problems. So we're gonna go ahead and try to knock them all out here so you at least know what you're getting into when you walk into that exam. Okay, so let's do one more of these. So this one's gonna be a little more complicated. We actually are gonna to have to calculate for wind correction angle as well. So we'll get into that. Looking back at figure 21, determine the magnetic heading for a flight from Mercer County Regional Airport, Area 3, to Minot Air International, Area 1. The wind is from 330 degrees at 25 knots. True airspeed is at 100 knots and the magnetic variation is 10 degrees east. Okay, so a bit of this is, is, is gonna be the same. We're gonna figure out our true course and we're gonna adjust for you know magnetic variation to get our magnetic heading, but we're also gonna take into consideration the wind. So let's go ahead and knock the first part out first and figure out what our true course is. So looking here at the chart, this is figure 21. You're gonna look for area three and one. So here's area one, area three is down here. So we can see see the Minot International Airport on Area 1 and the Mercer County Regional Airport on Area 3. Now, a very important step here is we want to make sure our plotter is lined up with this line of longitude so we get an accurate reading. So you can see if it was off a little bit, like here, it would read closer to 9. We need to make sure this north is lined up directly on this line longitude. So I'm going to say that's pretty accurate. You can see our, our center of it is right where our true course intersects one of these lines of longitude. So we're set there. So if we read off the plotter, it looks like a course of 12. All right, so the first part's done. From the chart, we have our heading of 12. Now we need to do the wind correction problem part. So the information they gave us from the question says the wind is at 330 and at 25 knots and our airspeed is 100 knots. So we need to go ahead and calculate our wind correction angle and our true ground speed. Or I guess we don't need our true ground speed for this question. All right, so as mentioned, our wind is from 330 at 25 knots. So the first thing that we do on our E6B, so we want to set the wind direction or the true index. So we can go ahead and make the true index 330. There we go. Lined up right here. All right, the second thing is mark the wind velocity up from the center point. So the wind velocity was 25 knots. So what I like to do is put the grommet right on 100 and we'll put our marker right at 125. Now, the third thing we're going to do is set true course under true index. Well, we got our true course. Our true course was going to be the 12 number. So now we'll move that over here. So 10, 11, 12. We can see our point moved. But now we can read off what our wind correction angle is going to be. So that's going to tell us we have a little bit of a headwind that's slightly to the left of us. So how much is it? Well, we can see this is 5 degrees here. 10 degrees is here. So not quite 10 degrees. So 5 six, seven, maybe eight, eight to nine degrees to the left. So that's all we're gonna need for our wind correction angle. So we can go back to the problem. All right, so the information that we were able to get off of the flight computer is the wind correction angle. Uh, we could have worked more of the problem and figured out our ground speed, but that's unnecessary for this problem. Uh, so what we were able to determine is the winds are coming from the left at eight degrees. So since the wind's coming from the left, we're gonna subtract and we know that because down here we can see when you have your magnetic course and you have winds from the left as a minus, so you're gonna subtract it and that's gonna give you your magnetic heading. So what I'm looking at is we have a true heading of around 12. We're gonna subtract eight for the wind correction angle and then we're gonna subtract the 10 from the magnetic variation that they gave us in the question. So that should give us a magnetic heading of around uh, 354. So looking back at the answers, we can see 352 is an answer. It's very close to our answer. I would be confident in selecting that as the correct answer. Uh, in this case, there's there's likely a chance that our plotter was off by a little bit or you know our wind correction angle was off by a smidge, but 352 is the correct answer. We got 352 close enough.